A team of female rowers have arrived in Australia nine months after setting off from San Francisco to cross the Pacific Ocean. The Coxless crew rowed out under the Golden Gate Bridge in April last year. After 257 days at sea, with supply stops in Hawaii and Samoa, their 29-feet boat, Doris, crossed the finish line at Cairns just before 1 o'clock GMT. The crew, made up of three permanent members and three others each rowing a leg, have claimed two records. Laura Penhall, Natalia Cohen, and Emma Mitchell, along with final leg rower Meg Dias, hugged each other as they entered the Marlin Marina in the Queensland city. Sharing beers with family and friends who had gathered to welcome them, the adventurers described their achievement as an overwhelming experience. Despite taking three months longer than originally planned, the 9,200 mile, 14,800 kilometers, expedition has set two world records, the women becoming the first all-female team and the first team of four to row the Pacific. They rowed continuously as pairs in two-hour shifts, sleeping 90 minutes at a time. Each consumed 5,000 calories a day, devouring freeze-dried meals with a side of protein bars, chocolate, fruit, or nuts, washed down with desalinated sea water. But they took a Christmas cake on board as a treat on December 25th, a day which they unsurprisingly spent at sea. Along their epic journey they had to contend with a battering from a tropical storm, waves the height of houses and the approach of a humpback whale that surfaced just yards away from their boat. Drenched by rain and seawater they endured painful sores, but also faced temperatures so hot they cooked a pancake on the deck just from the sun's rays.